Yeah, I just want to ask about Tymon Mitchell. You know, when you guys were looking to add him, what stood out about him? Made him somebody you guys were interested in bringing in? Yeah, well, like, we had we had a need up front there in the spring, and um, when his name popped across, you cut his tape on. You seen some the size, you seen some athletic build. Um, then when you got around him and his family, which is great people, you know, groomed the right way. And we've always, me personally, I've built the room with character. Um, I want young men that are hungry, young men that happen to be athletes as well, but you know, well spoken, they're going to be respectful, um, and they got a hunger for the game. Tommy matched that as soon as I met him. It was no joking um, at first, and he is a joke, so, but at first, man, he was just serious about what he wanted to do um, and how he wanted to see himself contribute. And he's been a great addition for him. What kind of development have you seen from him over this year? Um, really, so you can just see some light bulbs come on with opportunity. Um, I'd say that hunger was always there for him. So um, as soon as you start getting some, some reps and success early, you just seen the mental aspect of it all. You know, he is extremely smart. You know, one of the smartest guys in the room, um, one of the smartest guys on the field, sees a lot of things. You know, he's another coach out there for me. So the information he brings to the sideline is very helpful in game. You know, but he's very mature um, when it comes to the football aspect of it on game day, but he has that juice. He ain't gonna say too much until he takes the grass. And you can't just, you can't stop him dancing. I mean, he's the guy that at practice, he's dancing from the minute he walks in the door to the minute he walks out the door. And that's just a sign of love for the game. How do you think his time at Georgia helped him um, I don't know. You know, I don't know exactly the ins and outs of how his time was there um, to credit anything to where he got there from. All I can talk about is what time he brings, you know, and timing in his personality and how quick he adjusted to the guys in the room. Um, even him coming in with Caleb Fox, the young man I had the pleasure of coaching in the past, and then immediately clicked it off, um, being two guys from different programs coming in. Um, and he was, I think the guys in our room naturally – embraced him because of who he is you know so that fit my room well that there's he's still selfless um no matter what position you put him in on the grass he's gonna play hard so um, for him i think it was just getting an extra body in there that um follows the same mode as those guys that has the same desire and love football the same as them and um a hell of a job having him you know he's done a great job for me um he's gonna continue to grow because that kid is special but he's very very smart you talk about his football smarts, preparing to play an offensive line that he went up against every day. Has he tried to share any tip, you know, tips and things that he saw, uh, tendencies that he saw going up against them last year? No, I think time is just like everybody else in the room. We're going to prepare the same way we prepare for every other opponent. Um, we're blessed to go against the offensive line that we have here at TCU every day. So we go out there practicing and got to compete, you know. So this week is like no other for us. We're just going to prepare. Um, get ready to take the grass.